intersection of two planes. Find the intersection of two planes 2x minus 2y plus 5z plus 4 equals to 0 and x plus 2y minus 2z plus 8 equals to 0. Now to find the intersection of these two planes, we'll solve these two equations simultaneously. So we have equation number 1 which is 2x minus 2y plus 5z plus 4 equals to 0 and equation number 2 is x plus 2y minus 2z plus 8 equals to 0. So let's number them as 1 and 2 and if we add 1 and 2 we can eliminate y. So let's do equation 2 plus 1. So by adding we get 3x here and we get 0 in this place and when we add them we get plus 3z plus 12 equals to 0. Now we have an equation where two variables are there x and z. Now really to find one we have to introduce parameters. So let us say that z is equals to t. So what we can do is first find what 3x is equal to. So 3x is equals to minus 12 minus 3z or x is equals to dividing both by 3 we get minus 4 minus z. Now if we assume z to be equals to a parameter t so let z equals to t in that case x is equals to minus 4 minus t so that is how you know we introduce parameters and we get a solution in terms of a parameter which will result into a line so remember one thing that we are solving two equations and we have three variables so we can't really solve it right so we'll have to use parameters to solve this particular equation. Now we know z is t, x is minus 4 minus t. So we'll use these two in one of our equation. So we have, let me call this 3 and 4 as the z and x values. So we'll substitute those values in equation 2 and then uh, solve for y. So we have x, so instead of x I'll write minus 4 minus t. So let me write equation 2 first here. x plus 2y minus 2z plus 8 equals to 0. And now instead of x I'll write minus 4 minus t plus 2y. And instead of z we have 2t, the parameter defined here, plus 8 equals to 0. And now we can solve for y in terms of t, right? So we have 2y here, 2y, and as far as t is concerned, minus 1 and minus 2 gives us minus 3t. As far as the constants are concerned, minus 4 and plus 8 gives us plus 4 equals to 0. So from here, we can write 2y equals to minus 4 plus 3t or y equals to divided by 2, we get minus 2 plus 3 over 2t, right? So we get a solution here and that is the equation of a line and the line is x equals to minus 4 minus t, y is equals to minus 2, 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2t and z equals to t, right? So that is the equation of the line which gives us the solution for this particular system, right? You can always write this line in the vector form. So in vector form, we'll get the point is minus 4, minus 2, and for t, for z, it is 0, plus t times. And here we have minus 1, plus 3 over 2, plus 1, right? So in such cases, it is good to multiply by 2 and rewrite your equation. So this is your equation of the line which shows the intersection of two planes. This could be written as minus 4 minus 2 0 plus t or if you want you can write any other parameter but I'll multiply by two all these things. This is the direction number right? So that we avoid fractions. So we have minus 2 comma 3 plus 2 right? So that is our solution for this particular intersection of two planes. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. If you are using the matrix method, you'll appreciate that at this stage, 
you'll get um, some number which is indeed 3, 0 and 3 and on the other side you get 2, right? So we have to, when you use this equation, we have to use a parameter to solve as we did here, right? And then get the answer. So that is how you're going to solve uh, this question. Now since these two planes are not parallel, they intersect and they will intersect in a line. So the line of intersection here is given by R, which is this line. Thank you.